Hey everybody, I'm Gus. I'm Luke. Uh, Luke, we're going to finish up the Ancient Gods DLC collectibles today. <sighs> Part 2 came out ooh, last week, depending on when you're watching this video. <laughs> um, and uh, there are some more collectibles to get. Not a lot. Uh, this is a little shorter than Part 1, but um, I will be covering... Well, all right, disclaimer, this isn't all the collectibles. This is all the extra lives. It is all the Sentinel Hammer upgrades. And it is all the Codex pages. Everything for an achievement in this DLC. Which is what we care about. Which is what we care about. I don't care about your other collectibles. Yeah, you can watch that everywhere. <laughs> um, so uh, this first collectible is like right at the start of the game. Um, there's a big fight here. When you kill everyone, flip the switch. You get an extra life. That one's easy. Oh yeah, um, I recommend you play this on the uh, extra life mode. Where uh, your extra lives are like the only lives you get. Um, play it on easy because this DLC is kind of hard and Doom's kind of hard. Um, but uh, and if you finish with more than five extra lives, uh, you get an achievement, a really big achievement too. Uh, so these first two collectibles, just extra lives. Um, this next area, it looks like I went to a different level. I did not. This is still level one. Uh, it's snowy, but you know, it, it's a nice change of scenery. Um, I think this next one is our first. No, this is another. Uh, this is the auto map actually. Which isn't actually, uh, you don't get an achievement for, but it is kind of handy having the map, so I figured I'd, I'd point them out. Yep, you know, you gotta make sure you get all of those, check yeah, your map. Yeah, after check, you check your map. Uh, maps also tell you where collectibles are, so you, when you get to this point, you might not even need the video anymore, mm -hmm. so, but if you clicked on it, I appreciate it, <laughs> <laughs> getting this far. Stay tuned for a secret <laughs> message at the very end. <laughs> um, so here's a double extra life, uh, you get two of them. Make sure you miss it, that's really important. <laughs> It's uh, crucial, actually. But uh, you played any Doom Eternal yet? Oh, not yet. It's on the radar. Yeah, yeah. You know, I did enjoy my time with uh, good old Doom 3, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. you played that on stream, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was a good one. What days is that? Oh, funny you should ask. Well, yes, if you turn in on Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, you can watch that. Every once in a while, a Thursday morning, too. Oh, even a spicy Thursday. Uh, so this is new to the DLC, the Part 2 DLC. These are escalation fights. Uh, there's You can activate this thing twice. Uh, there's one fight, which I think you have to do in order to progress to the level. And then there's a second fight, which gives you a cosmetic. Um, oh, also, for beating the first part of the fight, you get a Sentinel Hammer upgrade. I don't think you can miss it, uh, but I figured I'd show point them out at the very least, show you where they are. Um, and once you do all three, you get the achievement for upgrading your Sentinel Hammer. Well, this hammer's pretty sweet looking. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's kind of lame. Oh, I preferred chainsaw. I would have preferred, like, a laser chainsaw. Oh, yeah. That would have been cool. Um, but yeah, the hammer's cool. It, like, stuns enemies and you get more, like, health and ammo when you use it. So, I don't know. Hmm. It's important for the boss fight. And then, uh, once you do that fight again, it's a harder version, but, uh, you get a cosmetic thing at the end, which, or whatever. Yeah. When you get these you gotta look cool. So this is the very end of the first level. You can't miss this uh, portion. Um, all these scary dudes standing around this crystal. Um, once you activate that crystal, you end the first level. And congratulations, you'll probably get an achievement if it's your first time playing through uh, the DLC. The world sphere. But yeah, there's uh, there's the four collectibles that just to prove that I did it. Um, and we are off to level two, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, but this is the very beginning of uh, the level. There is a codex page to your left. You just jump over this uh, railing and you jump over this other railing. Ooh, railing and uh, I'm sure this codex is uh, loaded with fun information that I did not read. Um, I don't really care what's going on. Uh, it's cool. I like it. I like that I get to punch demons, but I don't know. I'm not terribly interested in the story of Doom. Uh, and just, uh, you follow this road, and on the right-hand side, there is an extra life uh, hiding, hiding behind this car. Oh, a little and, and sometimes, if you stand still, you can make a little friend. He just shows up. <laughs> uh, so this is the escalation fight in level two. Again, you can do this twice. I think you have to do it once, so you'll definitely get that Sentinel Hammer upgrade. Uh, these are a pain in the ass, by the way. The second wave of escalation fights, really hard. Damn. Long and uh, arduous. Uh, that satisfying pulling of the eye the first time. Uh, yeah, no, that does help. That does uh, that does help a lot. They, I don't think they added, they did add a new enemy type, Armored Baron. 
almost as bad as the Marauder. Not quite, but Ooh, still not good. Sense. Yeah, so he like charges up like his little mace thing, and you have to shoot it, and it breaks all his armor off. Which, now that I say that out loud, that doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> when you attack no, his weapon, all his this. armor <laughs> pops off. That seems silly. That's right. Uh, anyways, once you're done with the escalation fight, this hole in the ground will open up. Uh, this is the way you have to go. And if you hang a left here, you get another codex page. Um, what's next? Oh, this is another codex page. Um, I feel like this was kind of the sewer level of DLC, which is unfortunate because there already is a sewer level of Doom Eternal. Just hanging out right there, too. I will say this is... This is a shorter, more interesting DLC, I guess. Uh, Story-wise, there's a lot going on. And um, Oh, so uh, you jump through that window and it closes behind you. You have to come to this area. There's a big fight. Uh, but once you're done with the fight, there is a secret breakable wall right here. You just smash right through it and it's uh, extra life. Hey. hey. Um, and some hammer ammo. Which also, again, now that I say out loud, why does your hammer need ammo? I guess because it's a laser? I guess so. Anyways, um, you so you'll come to this room. There will be a big fight in it. Once you're done with the fight, the door that closed behind you opens up. If you go back through it, uh, this way, um, there is another door that opened that was locked previously uh, that has an extra life in it. So you need to do that fight first, come back to this area. And then this is the end of level two. There's a big gyroscope in the center of this room. It just spins. I don't know what it does. Besides spin. Did you jump through? Yes. Yes, you do. Excellent. Spoiler alert. Uh, but there's a codex page right there at the very end. Uh, and that's level two. We're two for three. See, I told you this was I told you this was short. Yeah. Um, so on this next level, uh, once you do the final escalation fight, uh, you will get the last sentinel hammer upgrade. You will get an achievement. I already got it because I was streaming this game last week. Uh, every Sunday, Monday, <laughs> Tuesday. Thursday, Saturday? I forget. <laughs> um, but I already got it, but you will get it for uh, completing all three escalation fights. Um, this is very early on in the level. There's a codex page. Um, you'll come up here, and you need to jump on this little uh, lip right here, walk through the uh, poison puddle. There's some tentacles in here that are going to try and grab you, but just shoot them and uh, hop down here for another extra life. I think if you get all the extra lives and don't die, you get like 13 or 14 lives. So, like, you have quite a few, and which is good because the final boss is, like, kind of tough. So uh, you want a lot of extra lives if you're doing this on uh, extra life mode. Got to bank them. You got to stay store them. Diversify that portfolio. Yeah, yeah, and then liquidate all at once. Liquidate. Um, so this is the final escalation fight. Um, I think this one has two double marauder fights in it. It's kind of kind of breaking the ass. Um, but you you can do it. I believe in you. You're really good at video games. So follow your heart. And there's the final sentinel hammer upgrade. You will get an achievement at this point. And if you do the second one, I think you get like a black and red cosmetic skin, which is kind of, it's kind of cool, oh, yeah. I guess. It looks like a nice one. Yeah. Hellforge. You get a uh, like Conan the Barbarian skin oh. in this DLC, <laughs> which is kind of, that one's kind of cool. Has its own like special like intro uh, animations and stuff, mm. yeah. Uh, so once you're done with this fight, you can get the auto map. Again, you don't necessarily need it, especially if you're following this guide, but it's kind of handy to have. Maybe you miss one. You gotta double check. Yeah, you gotta du double check my work. Mm -hmm. And then don't leave it in the comments below because I don't want to hear about it. Because I, I won't, I will not re release this video. So, unedited, uncut. <laughs> this is it. Um, so, make sure uh, that you jump up on that lip and jump back the kind of the way you came to get these two extra lives. And then uh, we're almost done. I think there's two more after this. Uh, you'll come to this room, you'll see that one up. This one, kind of easy. You just jump up and uh, dash across the. Uh, the the gulf that separates uh, these two, and you get the uh, the one up. Oh, what easy. what would you do if you knew like if you had an extra life, uh, like I, if you knew you were just gonna respawn? What would you do? I think I would be a lot more daring in like um, sports. You know, like, oh I, yeah, I, I like to snowboard, and I would take like the biggest jump with like no yeah. regard. Yeah, and if I was in the hospital, I'd just be like, end me. That'd be kind of <laughs> cool. Um, so this area again, you get shot through that wall, uh, and it closes behind you. Behind you, jeez. Um, and there's a codex page immediately on your left. Very hard to miss, but you can miss it, so mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. um, there's a big old fight that happens on this platform. Again, you have to come this way. 
Um, but when you jump down and dash across, there is a codex page right behind uh, some armor over here. Uh, yeah, maybe. you really traverse some here in this game. Yeah, you get a lot of dashes. Um, quite the quite the platforming game. I really like it. Uh, the the platforming that is. Um, and then so this is the final one. This door will open. You need to find the switch to open it. But once you do, you just climb to the top and you get your final codex page, which gives you an achievement. There you go. Man, we got the Sentinel Hammer upgrades, we got all the Codex pages, and we got a ton of extra lives to make sure that you're fully stocked for the boss fight. And you're looking cool now. And you look so fly. Oh, that armor looks good. Uh, yeah, so th there it is. There's your uh, super rare achievement. Um, I think on true achievements, these are giving you like 500 true achievements when you unlock them. Good Which rare sound. might not stay uh, the case, but for now it is, so, you know. Um, I hope this guide was very helpful. Um, if you would, so I mean, I'm done with Doom Eternal. I'm not going to make any more guides in it. So if you guys can think of an achievement you need help with, I would love to try and do it and maybe film it and maybe stream it. Who knows? Um, but go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Um, you got anything else? Drink balls. Okay. Well, bye. I love you. Balls, bye.